to dear students and friends in this video i'm going to solve a problem on limit fits and tolerances to clearly understand this problem please watch my previous problem in which i have clearly explained the procedure to solve this sort of problems so this is in continuation with the previous problem to watch that video the link is given in the description box below you please go through that link then you can clearly understand the procedure the problem is like this indicate the tolerances and allowances for the whole shaft designated by 75 e7 s9 the given 75 falls in the range of 50 to 80 okay data tables you can observe now to get the data so this is very important here so here the limiting values are 50 and 150 that is d1 and d2 from d1 and d2 you can calculate the geometric mean d so that is 63.24 after that you can calculate the standard tolerance unit i so that i value you are getting as 1.85 microns here after that here tolerances for hole and shaft are given as e7 and s9 so that's why you have to calculate it7 and it9 using these equations the next step is you have to consider the hole and identify the fundamental deviation here in the graphical representation for the hole the fundamental deviations will be like this this is starting from a here you will get h this is z this is positive zone this is negative zone here the given value is e e means it will be somewhere here this is e so fundamental deviation will become ei this is es this is bottom one is ei so the ei is nearer to the zero line that's why fundamental deviation is ei okay so ea equal to 60 microns how you are getting this means for 75 e if you consider in the tables automatically you can get the fundamental deviation from the table as 60 microns this you have to collect from the table once you know the ea value you can get the es value by taking this relation then ea is known to you it7 is calculated you can get es value now es value you are getting is 89.6 microns these ES values and EA values are in microns. You convert them into millimeters and indicate like this. Now you will get maximum hole and minimum hole like this. Difference is tolerance. Okay. In this way you can calculate for hole. Next coming to the shaft. If you observe the tolerance zone graphically. This is 7. This is the graphical representation for shaft. Here it is starting from A. Here it is Z this is positive this is negative okay now this is s means s will be somewhere here this is h this is h s will be somewhere here so that means this is e i this one is e s so fundamental deviation will be e i okay s value is given and diameter is 75 means greater than 50 so you have to use this equation to calculate the lower deviation because graphically if you observe this is the graphical representation for shaft this is positive this is negative here somewhere here you will have yes that means ei is the fundamental deviation es you have to calculate using ei value so here ei equal to this equation it7 plus 0.4d you will get 0.4d then ea is known to you es equal to ei plus it6 from this you can get es after getting es and ei you represent like this and find out the maximum shaft and minimum shaft with respect to mm you convert these microns into millimeters divide this with thousand and you write like this you will get maximum shaft and minimum shaft and this is the tolerance after that check the allowances maximum material condition maximum material condition means minimum hole minus maximum shaft minimum hole this is the minimum hole and this is the maximum shaft if you take these two you are getting it as negative this is negative okay interference fit then in least material condition that is maximum hole this is maximum hole minus minimum shaft this is the minimum shaft if you take this difference you are getting this as positive then it is clearance fit 
in mmc it is interference in lmc it is clearance that means at one condition it is positive at other condition it is negative in that case that will become the transition fit this is transition fit okay graphical representation is like this this is for hole this is for shaft in this way you can represent hole and shaft graphically thanks for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel